In this video, we will explain how to draw a center. This is part of a face portrait. Uh, if we have a center, that means that our system looks like this, dx dt, dy dt, dx dt equal ax plus by, and dy dt equal cx plus dy, and that means that the matrix of the system, which is A, B, C, D, um, the characteristic equation, actually, in this case, the, if you have a center, that means that the characteristic equation, which is this, only have two roots, and they are of the form like plus or minus beta i. Um, actually, that only happens when the trace is zero and the determinant is positive. And we're going to assume that my beta is bigger than zero. Um, in this case, there are two ways to draw the center. One way is, let's call it the, the easy way. And for the easy way, we need to consider the vector field associated with this system, which is this vector field, B of x, y equal ax plus by. The first entry is whatever is in front of the x dt. And the y dt, the second entry, is whatever is in front of the y dt. Then what we do is we know that the, the orbits, they look like, they have like the shape of an ellipse, not exactly an ellipse, but they look like an ellipse. And then what we do, we pick this point, the point one zero. And when we evaluate V of 1, 0, we get that V of 1, 0 is A, C. Then we draw the vector A, C. Let's suppose that A, A is positive and C is positive. That means that, that in this case, the vector goes like this. And then with this, with this vector, we draw something that looks like an ellipse. And it's tangent to that line. And in this case, the orbits are like that. Right? This vector gives you a little more of, of precision in terms of how the ellipse looks like. Actually, with this in mind, you can see that um, if C is bigger than zero, then the orbit goes counterclockwise. And if C is smaller than zero, then the arrow goes down. That means that you're going to go clockwise. But if you compute the whole vector, you get a little more, uh, a better idea of how the orbits look like. We have this orbit, which is the equilibrium point, and then all the other orbits, they look like, like an ellipse. Um, for the other case, uh, let's, we're, I'm calling that the more detailed way. For that, we compute these four vectors. We draw the vector uh, B negative A, and then zero negative beta, and then negative B A, and then zero beta. We draw those vectors, we have this, and then we draw the vector, let's suppose that B negative A is here. This is the vector B negative A, and let's suppose that this is the vector zero negative beta. And the other vector is the opposite of this one, which is like here. This is the vector negative VA, and zero beta is this vector. And then we draw something that goes, that looks like an ellipse, and it goes through those four points. This is the vector zero beta, and this is the vector negative VA and this is the ellipse. Right. Then, according to, according to the direction of these four vectors, we get the direction of the, of, of the orbits. Not that in this case they are not exactly the same, but these are two methods to compute the orbits in the case that we have a center. A center is when we have a complex root with the real part, which is alpha, in this case alpha equal to zero. Okay, and then this is it.